Hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial about setting up your blueprints for modeling cars and everything that has blueprints. Um, on my channel there are two videos about modeling low poly cars in under an hour. And um, as you see there are already blueprints present here. So I wanted to make a tutorial for you uh, that I will link in those videos and I will link to these videos um, so you can see how to set up your blueprints. Now what I first did is I got a model from uh, the dash blueprints.com and um, I downloaded the image. I uh, didn't buy it because uh, I, I don't want to model this car. But if you do, uh, get the high res models and uh, it's just a few bucks. So I got it into Photoshop and made four images. And it doesn't really matter uh, what size the images are, just uh, crop them and uh, save them. So now we're going to over to 3ds Max and we're going to make some planes um, which have the same dimensions as the images you made. So I, I wrote my, my measurements down, so I'll just type them over. So I got this ground plane and this is going to be, um, let's see, 2, 4, 6 by 1, 1, 1. Okay, and I want to rotate this fellow there we go and I want to put it into the center of my scene I just typed zero then press tab zero tab very fast um, let's see I usually put one here so it doesn't cloud my view okay I rotate rotate and I'm um, holding shift, so I will copy it when I let the mouse button go. There we go. Put a new copy and not instance, else uh, it will affect both of the objects. Um, my left view is 261 by 126. Alright. Shift rotate. Copy. Um, so this is the back because it's black and this is the front, it's blue. So I'll rotate it because I wanted to do the front view first. Uh, it's 137 by 129. Doesn't really matter if this is on meters or just units. Um, you can also do 129. Uh, it's just that I thought meters would be a good idea. So it doesn't really matter. You can always scale it down when you get the proportions right. Okay, so I shift rotate this. Copy, just put it a little bit further from the other one so they don't interfere with one another. And my back one is 116 by 19. Alright. Okay, now we're going to make the materials for the textures we have. So we got a material. This is pretty easy. If you don't know how materials work, you can still follow this. Um, diffuse, we have an empty slot here, and we want to put a bitmap here. Just click bitmap, uh, follow your path to the blueprints, and I want to first do the top. Open. Okay, now we got here, this is the top. But we're inside the material, we're at map 1, so we want to go up. A notch to the uh, normal material and we can do that to go to parent this is this button go to parent and now you see there's an M here so there's a material if you press maps you can see that in the diffuse slot there's uh, a JPEG which is called top and if you want to uh, have a good view on what this really is uh, or what this looks like you can press the uh, circle over here and then press the square. You can kind of see what it is. Um, what I usually do is I copy this, so I just drag and drop it here. And then drag and drop, drag it up, because I have four. Um, I'm still here, pressing on top, top. And I choose the left one, top. Bitmap is front, and here, top bitmap is back and what you can do now is just rename them so this is top um, don't want to rename map you want to rename the parent so this is uh, on the left 
So we're here, we're in the parents because it's bitmap here. This is standard. And you go to front. And this is back. Okay, so now we got four textures, four materials, and we're gonna assign them to um, these planes. So this is the top plane assign. And you can see that you can't really see anything. And it's because you have to uh, tell 3ds Max that you want to see the textures in your viewport. And this is this little button here, show standard map and viewport. And now you can see that it's on there, just the uh, UVW maps are kind of messed up. That's okay. First assign every map to the corresponding plane. Front and standard map and viewport. Back and standard map and viewport. All right close. Um, I'm going to work in the perspective mode only, so I'm going to press Alt-W to enlarge the, um, the viewport. Okay, now we're going to have to rotate the UVW map. So we're going to add a modifier, press UVW quickly after each other to get to the UVW, else if you just press U, it will not go to the UVW um, map. Uh, press that and we got a bunch of options so what we want to do is we want to rotate it and fit it to the um, to the plane which you click the modifier press the rotate I use the hotkey E rotate it 90, 90 degrees I also um, put on the angle snap toggle to put it into five degrees at a time and press fit and you can see it's it's right on there. Um, what I also want to do is uh, I like to have the perspective view uh, looking uh, this way, so to the front. So uh, that's just my my personal taste. So what you can do is you can collapse this stack, which is uh, you can make it an edit editable poly, and right click um, collapse all. And yes, there's an editable, editable mesh. Um, I want to do an editable poly. I like poly better. Um, you can rotate it again. And now you can see the backside of a plane is um, is not transparent. Uh, a plane is a, is just just has one dimension, so it just looks one way. So if you press um, if you press the polygon and you can press flip. The dimension will actually flip of the normal of the uh, that's, that's what the cool kids are calling it. The normal of the polygon is uh, flipped to the side where the camera is, and if you um, deselect it, you can see that it's flipped, and the other side is black. But you can also um, keep it the other way. I just like it to be just right. Um, okay, let's do the same thing to the top. So we're so add a UVW map and click it, rotate it. Yeah, I do sound effects. And then press fit. There we go. Looking pretty good. And do the same thing to the front. Um, UVW. And to the back. I have the uh, the hotkey Control Shift X, Control Shift X, which uh, collapsed the stack to an editable poly. Um, if you want to know how to uh, customize your hotkeys, uh, click the annotation that will be somewhere, and it will link to a video tutorial I did last week about uh, customizing your hotkeys and which hotkeys I use. So UVW map. Rotate and fit. Here we go. Okay, so we got the planes. Now all we have to do is align these things to each other. So I can move this guy up and see that these pixels are kind of aligned. If you have a better resolution image, you can see that this will be better. Um, the only thing you have to worry about is this is the top pixel of the car, and you want to get this plane right in the center. 
So I can uh, I'm aligning the center of this this car with um, this line that runs to here. I can see it's this is aligned. Now I can do the same thing to the back. There we go. But now we have to see that the car wheels are aligned on the same plane, and we can do this to just use the bottom plane to set it up with the wheels here and just see that these wheels are aligned. Alright, so the only thing we have to do is see that the front of the car is properly aligned. Oh, here we go. The front of the car is properly aligned with the front of the uh, left side. Just put it to the front a little and see if it's aligned. Yeah, you can see that it's aligned here. So, it's probably all good. And of course you can always just uh, align it on the fly, see when you're you're doing your planes. Um, for example, the, uh, the the top of the car isn't properly aligning. Just um, see if you can align it a little bit better. So what I usually do now is um, I want to see my uh, textures in the viewport. And I can do this by pressing F3. And there we go. You could just turn off the grid with uh, G because you don't really need it and you want to see all your views. So, so this is how we'll start. I'll just get a cylinder here, see if this aligns. And here we go. And this is the start of my car. You can do this with the back wheels. Just copy them. They're probably in the same place. So now you can just go over to the other video where you can see how I model a car in under an hour. Um, if you have any questions about that, if you can follow the other videos, just let me know. And I will try to uh, do a video tutorial about how to uh, model a low poly car a little bit slower so you can all see what I'm doing and uh, which methods I'm using. So thanks for watching and um, see you next week.